Today, we're going to talk about using the Cohesity system on VMC on AWS. First thing we're going to do is we're going to show off that we are in fact utilizing a VMware uh, environment out on AWS. So as you can see, this, the login looks pretty well standard compared to most vCenters that are out there. The only difference is you can kind of tell by the URL that this is going to a VMwareVMC.com address, which is part of the solution. So we're going to log in with our cloud admin account. The first thing you notice is we have our SDDC stack. In this environment, we've only got one cluster. However, you can see we've got two resource groups. We have a separation between our compute resources and our management pool. So let's take a closer look at some of these virtual machines. So you can see we have our CentOS VM that we're going to use to back up. We do have a VE for Cohesity available in here. That's what we're going to interact with. And we have a management resource pool that can, includes our vCenter and all of our NSX services, including our manager, edge, and controllers. Now, one of the last identifying characteristics of a VMC on AWS environment is if you take a look at the model type on the ESX servers, you can see that this is labeled as an Amazon EC2 device. Now, it's not a virtual machine, but it is a physical device, but it is labeled with an Amazon name in it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show off uh, creating a protection job with Cloud Archive to AWS S3 as part of the part of the job. First things first, under the Cohesity UI, we're going to create a policy. This policy is going to be used then to create a protection job. As you can see, I already have a policy that specifically goes to Glacier, but I do not have one that goes to S3. So let's go and create that real quick. I'm going to give it a name, in this case, VMC to S3. I'm going to go down to Archive, and I'm going to add my VMC Demo S3 archive that I've created already on the system. Once I add it, you can see that I have not only a local policy, but I also have my Cloud Archive policy. Now, we have to create a protection job. I've headed up there to the UI. I'm going to select a virtual server. As with all VMware environments, um, you should be able to view the source for the VMC on AWS environment within. I'm going to look through the inventory and find my VM in question, my CentOS VM. I'm going to select it and click on the Add button. I need to select the policy I just created, which is for S3, and my storage domain, which is in this case the default. I'm going to start the protect. Now, I can drill into the job as it's immediately going to run in the first place. I drill into the job and you can see that I have the job started. What's going to happen right now is in the VMware environment, you can see that we're uh, creating a virtual machine snapshot. That's essential for us to be able to perform the initial backup in the environment. We're going to switch over here as it takes a little bit of time, and we're going to look at the initial backup task and make sure that it's completed. As you can see, it's nearly complete. And there we go, flipped over to success. We're going to take a look at our cloud archive task, which in this particular case takes a little bit to get going. However, it should then be able to back up and archive our information to S3. We're going to skip ahead a little bit and show that we have got a success on both the backup and the cloud archive task. This allows us to ensure then that we can go and double check our AWS environment. So you can see here's the S3 bucket that I have available. I'm going to click on it and you should see I now have data within here. I have my data folder, my metadata folder, and my snap tree folder, which are essential to our archiving capabilities. Now what I'm going to show off here is the capability of performing an individual file level download from within the Cohesity VE running on VMC on AWS. Same thing as the prior task. I'm going to go to my recover option. But in this particular case, instead of VMs, I'm going to select files and folders. I'm going to just do a quick little wildcard search for a text file. And I need to find the job in question. You can see I found my VMC to S3 job that I had just done prior. I have found a text file within. I drill into it. You can see I have my recover points. I also have if you noticed on the far right side, two capabilities to either do this from, to recover from two different targets, whether that's my S3 target or my local target. In this case, I'm going to show off the local target. I could recover to the server in question, but what I'm just going to show is the capability of downloading that file. As you can see, relatively quick. Down on the bottom of the screen, I have all of the file information for what I downloaded. 
Now what I'm going to do is perform a VM recovery from that S3 archive. Same thing as in the prior uh, task. We're going to go and select our recover VM capabilities. In this case, I'm going to search specifically for S3 because I want to find the protection job. That also lists the VM that's in the protection job. So I'm going to select those. Now I'm going to change my recover point. Right now it's currently selected as a local backup target. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this over. I clicked on it and now I'm going to go to my cloud archive, which is labeled the VMC-demo-S3. We're going to save that. As with the prior recovery, since I don't want to overwrite the existing VM, I'm going to put a recover prefix, and I'm actually going to put a suffix called from S3, just to identify this one uniquely. I'm going to copy this to a new location as well. Same vCenter out there in my VMC on AWS environment. Same resource pool, a different data store, and different VM workload. Detach the network, and make sure it's powered off when it fires up. Now, this is going to take a little bit longer as we're going to be pulling the information from our S3 bucket. However, um, we will be yeah, you can see it doesn't take too long, depending upon the size of the virtual machine in question. We're accessing our S3 bucket right now, and we're pulling the data back down to the local Cohesity virtual edition system. And from there, we're going to then present that out to our VMware environment. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a quick cutover to, as you, well, as you can see right there, my cloud retrieval is in progress. I fast forward it just a little bit. We're going to switch over to our vSphere environment, and you can see that I have a recover dash sent os vm1 dash from s3. Now what I'm going to show is doing file level downloads from my s3 archive. Very similarly to what we did to the local file system, in this case what we're going to do is, again, search for files and folders. I'm going to search for that text file again. I'm going to find it from my VMC to S3 job. You can see, again, my, my individual recover points. I'm going to switch that over to my S3 archive, and I'm going to select the download. Now, this takes a little bit of time, again, to download to the local system. So we're going to do a little creative magic and fast forward this just a little bit. You see it's accepted the job, but now what I'm going to show is it's going to prepare to download. Over the course of that period, it's downloading the information to the local system. I'm going to refresh the job. As you can see now, my job is success, and now I've got a download button available. I download the file, and there we go, one zip file. We'd like to thank you for watching this video, and if you'd like to get more information, especially about our VMC on AWS solution, feel free to go visit Cohesity.com. Thank you.